Welcome to this presentation on the fundamentals of health statistics. First of all, let's, let us define what statistics is. So statistics is simply the science of planning studies, obtaining data, and then organizing, summarizing, presenting, analyzing, interpreting, and drawing conclusions based on the data. Right, so broadly speaking, um, statistics can be uh, sort of divided into two categories, and one is descriptive, the other is inferential. Right, so let us go through briefly on what descriptive statistics is and what inferential statistics um, is. So with descriptive statistics, we are basically interested in describing data. We are interested in um, five elements. So the first is the center of the data. Second is the variation of the data. Third is the distribution. Then we are also interested in the presence of extreme values called outliers and in time, so variation over time. How do um, the data vary over time? And to measure center, we use what is known as measures of center. And the three uh, measures of center are mean, median, and the mode. And for variation, we use variance and standard deviation. You can also use range, uh, mid-range, uh, but those are seldom used. And um, if you are looking for a, a reliable measure of variation, then variance and standard deviation are good enough. For distribution, we employ uh, a graph known as a histogram to visualize the distribution uh, of the data. And for outliers, outliers simply means um, extreme values. So those values can be um, extremely small or extremely large, such that they skew our distribution uh, to one side or the other. And we'll look at what this means in future videos. Time, to visualize um, the change of data over time, we use what is known as a time series or simply, a, you can also call it a line, line graph. Line graphs would have on the, would have on the x-axis a time measure. So this can be in seconds, uh, years, uh, decades, uh, depending on whatever you are measuring. And on the y-axis, of course, you'd have uh, the variable of interest. Now for inferential statistics, we are making inferences. And the way we infer is that we study a population and the way in which we study the population, we employ a sample. A sample being um, a small pro portion of this, uh, the population that has been drawn using random sampling so that we get a representative subset of the population. So for inferential statistics, we have a population and we have a sample. And then from the population, we draw a small representation of the population and then we call that a sample. And there are methods by which we do this, uh, we carry out this process that make sure that um, this representative sample is as uh, fair as possible, uh, meaning that it is a true um, representation of the entire population of interest. And there are specific methods, of course, by which um, this is done. 
and of course we will discuss them in future videos as well. Part of uh, inferential statistics is also what is known as hypothesis testing. Right? So hypothesis testing uh, is usually done, the hypothesis would be a statement about the population, but in order to test a hypothesis, of course, you need the sample. And whatever results you draw from the sample, you would then infer that conclusion uh, to the population as well. Right? And of course, um, that's a broad topic of, uh, that's the broad topic of um, hypothesis testing, which we'll look at in future videos. So definitions of population and sample. So what's the difference between a population and a sample? In statistics, a population refers to a designated group from which data is collected. Right? So a designated group from which data are collected. And it won't necessarily be a group of people. It can be a group of whatever you are studying. So it refers to all measurements or data that are being considered. If you are considering, let's say, trees and you are a biologist and you are studying trees, then your population would be uh, a population of trees. And from that population, you'll draw a sample of trees. If you are studying, let's say, uh, cars, you are a car manufacturer and you are interested in the population of cars on, let's say, an assembly line, then your population is um, cars and you draw a sample um, representing that population of cars. Uh, since in health statistics and in medical statistics we are dealing with mostly people, our population would be uh, people um, in a particular uh, geographic location or uh, patients, right? So that's the definition of a population. A sample, like we, I said before, it's simply a subset of the population. Now, it's important to distinguish between sample and census. Whereas a sample is a subset of the population, and when you sample, you basically um, collect data from um, a few select members of a population. When you conduct a census, collection of data is done for every or from every member of a population. So in a census, you get every uh, or all measurements or data that are being considered. So everyone in the population would be involved in a census. Data are simply raw facts and figures. Parameter versus statistic. So the word parameter and statistic refer respectively to the population and the sample. So whenever you are talking about um, a numerical, so this is a numerical measurement describing a population, then you, you are talking about a parameter. Whenever you are talking about a numerical measurement describing a sample, you are talking about a statistic, right? So parameter refers to population, statistic refers to sample. An example would be, uh, if you are measuring population mean, right? So population mean. So we call population mean mu. It's represented by the symbol mu. And sample mean is represented by x bar, right? These two refer basically to the same thing, right? Mean. But when referring to the population, we call it mu, and this is a parameter, and we are talking about a sample, we call it x bar, and this is a statistic. The same applies when you are talking about, let's say, standard deviation. Population standard deviation is represented by symbol sigma, and sample standard deviation is simply S, right? So different symbols, but referring to 
uh, the same numerical measurement.